In my last video, I make this, which is some basic zinc Aldin gravity battery. And if you see this video, then you also know that the performance of this kind of battery was not so good. But in this video, I want to make some improved version of this zinc Aldin gravity battery. When I make this basic zinc Aldin gravity battery, the performance of the battery was not so good. And this is because the distance between the anode and the cathode was a little bit too big and I also have some limited surface area for creating some Aldin. But in this video, I will try to improve this zinc Aldin gravity battery by uh, making a little bit better cell design which means that on the positive side I will add some extra carbon material with which I will increase the surface area and then I will see what will be the improvement. So over here again I have this acrylic pipe which will serve me like housing and here I have my uh, positive current collector which this time uh, I only glue some graphol on this acrylic tube. So right now in this case I don't use the electrode like I use over here which is some uh, conductive HDP welded directly on the surface of this uh, graph foil. So here I only use graph foil. Then over here I have the electrolyte, which is this one mole of zinc aldite electrolyte. Uh, how to prepare this kind of electrolyte will be in my last video. So the link to this video will be also in the video description. And um, also over here I have the negative electrode, which is made from some zinc. Now in this area I need to fill with some uh, carbon material. So in this case I can use some activated uh, carbon pellets like I do in this zinc uh, bromine gravity battery uh, but this time instead of using these pellets I will use some activated carbon felt. So this activated carbon felt have a little bit more surface area like these pellets but the pellets are easier to find and also a little bit more cheaper. And now I will put together this cell. So first of all I will put this activated uh, carbon felt into uh, the tube. Yeah. But before I will put uh, the felt into the tube I need to wet uh, the felt with the electrolyte it's a little bit better if you pre-wet uh, the felt Okay, this will be good. And now I also need something that will push this activated carbon felt uh, to this uh, graphite current collector. And for this reason I have this one.
and now we'll fill the tube with the electrolyte. Like so. And now for the finish, I will put uh, the zinc electrode into the cell. And our upgraded version of zinc iodine gravity battery is ready. So now I will charge the cell and then I will see if I get a little bit better power output out from this version. Okay, right now the cell is charging with 1.75 volts and 145 uh, milliamps. Now I will charge this cell a little bit and then I will see what I will get. Now I think that 20 minutes of charging will be enough and the only thing that I changed was the charging voltage. So I increased the charging voltage to 2 volts. And if I remember correctly, my previous basic zinc in gravity battery uses the charging voltage of 4 volts. And now I will see what will be the current. So I will disconnect the cell from my power supply. Oh, really nice. So by this upgraded version, I get 350 milliamps. So the old one have the current output of 1.5 milliamps and this one have the current output over 300 milliamps. Only by adding uh, more surface area and uh, decreasing the distance between uh, the anode and the cathode. So guys, now you can see how important it is that the distance between uh, the anode and the cathode is short as possible and also you can see how important it is that you have really really nice surface area of the electrodes. So this is not only important for this gravity cell design, but it's also really important for other battery designs and battery chemistries. Really nice. So guys, that's it about this zinc iodine gravity battery and yeah, we see us in the next video, bye.